Hey dudes, back again with the at home dumbbell workout series. Today we're gonna to be covering that posterior meat shield, or as you know it, the back. So we're gonna cover the top four favorite exercise that we have for our dumbbell at home workout, and we're gonna start right now. So we're gonna start this workout off with the bent over close to wide grip row. So what you wanna do is bend just at the hips, make sure that back is straight, and you can be pulling those dumbbells close to your side using those lats to row that weight all the way up to around the armpits. Then you wanna slowly lower it down to the bottom position, get a nice stretch, but keeping that back straight. And then you're gonna rotate palms facing backwards and you can pull those elbows nice and wide apart from your body and get a nice squeeze in the upper back. So this is not only working the lats, but it's also working those upper back muscles as well. So you get the full benefit of this exercise. Now we've all heard of dumbbell pullovers, working those lats and a little bit of the front delts and some of the chest, but we're gonna switch things up a little bit. We're gonna do one arm dumbbell pullovers. That's right, so what you wanna do is lay back on a bench and grab the dumbbell with one hand and you'll be slowly pulling over over past your head, getting a nice stretch in the lats, and then contracting that muscle to pull it to the top position. So what this is gonna be is a unilateral exercise because you're doing one side and then the next separately, and this is gonna work out any asymmetrical problems you have in the body. So what you do is if your strength is a little bit more on one side than the other, just do a couple extra reps on one side that is weaker. That way it's getting a little bit more push and it's gonna get some size and strength as well. Next on the list is gonna be the one arm dumbbell rows, as we like to call them chainsaw starters. So what you wanna do is bend slightly in the hips and with the same side you're rowing as, take that leg back and slightly out to the side. That way it's gonna cause a little bit more support in the hips as you're rowing. Get a nice stretch in the arm and the lats and then pull it all the way up, get a nice contraction in those lats, pulling the shoulder back, nice squeeze, and then repeat the motion. Almost think that you're trying to start a chainsaw. So you're rowing and you're starting it and it's not starting. But what that's gonna do is build those massive size meat shield. Dumbbell deadlifts. Does it work legs? Does it work back? Well, it works a combination of both. But in this case, we're gonna be using for the back development. So what you wanna do is step about shoulder width on the stance, the feet right in line with the dumbbells, get a nice overhand grip, and you can keep in that back nice and flat, shoulders back, you can get in more of a bow position, and you're gonna push up through the hips, hamstrings nice and tight, and you're gonna extend the hips forward, get a nice squeeze, keeping that back contracted throughout the whole motion, and slowly let it down to the bottom. So there you have it, dudes, the at-home dumbbell workout, helping you develop that muscle shield. So if you don't have a gym membership, don't like dealing with mouth breathers, or maybe you like sloth, from Goonies chained up in a basement and getting fed fish heads all the time. Well, this workout's gonna get you the strength to bust out of those chains, take on the Fratellis, help the kids get the treasure, take the lean off of Mikey's dad's house and have some pizza with Chunk! Buff dude style.